Psalm 119.11 says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I learned this verse when I was a little kid. This Bible verse reminds us that learning God's word by heart helps us love and obey God. I want to show you five Bible memory games for kids that you can use to help kids hide God's word in their heart. At the end of this video, I also want to give you three easy tips for teaching Bible verses to preschoolers. Let's get started. Before I show you these five easy Bible memory games, I want to encourage you to do something super important before you play them with kids. You see, we just don't want kids repeating a bunch of words over and over so they get it stuck in their head. We want them to know what the verse says and what it means so that they can treasure it in their heart. So before you practice the verse with one of these fun games, you should help the kids answer two important questions about the verse. What does it say and what does it mean? Even kids who are strong readers who may be able to read a verse still might not understand or know what it says because they're not familiar with all the words or concepts in the verse. So let's look at a verse together. This is Lamentations 3.22. Do you see any unfamiliar words or concepts in it that a child might not understand? Yeah, how about the word steadfast or the word ceases or the word mercies. These are words that children may not readily understand and concepts that they need someone to explain to them. Even if kids can read these words, they might not understand what they mean. So you can help them know what the verse says by explaining it to them. Once they know what it says, you can help them know what does it mean? How does it apply to their lives? What are they supposed to do with it? Is it a command to obey? Is it a promise to believe? For instance, this verse means that God's love for his people stays strong. It never stops, no matter what, even though they don't deserve it. When you're lonely or your friends have been teasing you, this verse can remind you God's love never stops. When you've done something wrong and you know it was bad and you feel like, oh, maybe God doesn't love me anymore, this verse can remind you that if you're God's child, you can remember it and trust God's promise that he always wants to show you his merciful love. You see, when you answer these two questions, what does it say and what does it mean, you're helping the kids truly store up God's word in their hearts and not just have them repeat words that they don't even understand. After you've explained what the verse says and what it means, you're ready to play super fun memory verse games with kids to help them say the verse over and over and over so it gets stuck in their head and in their heart. So let's take a look at five easy Bible memory games for kids. This first game is called Mystery Word. After you've explained what the verse says and what it means, have a child close their eyes while you choose a mystery word from the verse. Then say the verse together, but instead of saying the mystery word, you clap or snap your fingers when you get to that word in the verse, like this. The steadfast of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Lamentations 3.22. Do you know which mystery word I just left out? The mystery word is love. The child has to pay really close attention as you say the verse to try to guess which mystery word you just left out. Then, after they figure it out, choose another mystery word and play again. So, let's try it again. I've picked a new mystery word from this verse. Let's see if you can guess what it is as I snap my fingers instead of saying the mystery word. Here we go. Lamentations 3.22. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his never come to an end. Lamentations 3.22. What mystery word did I leave out? Our mystery word is mercies, right here. This is a fun way to say the verse, and that's all there is to it. If you're teaching a group of kids, they can take turns closing their eyes while someone else comes up and points at the next mystery word, and they can take turns guessing which mystery word was left out. If you have a lot of kids, it's helpful to have it written out on a whiteboard like this or a PowerPoint slide or a poster for those bigger groups so they can all see the verse together. If you've got a smaller group of kids or maybe you're just teaching one-on-one, -on -one, instead of a big poster like this or a whiteboard, you can just use your Bible 
Or if you're using a curriculum that has a handbook, you can use a handbook and just read it from there. And as you're reading the verse, when you get to the mystery word, you just snap your finger and then keep on saying the verse. And the kids have to listen really close and follow along as you read it out loud together. And they have to listen to try to figure out which word was the mystery word that you snapped or clapped on instead of saying it out loud every time you read it. So it's a really easy game. That's how you play mystery word. Our next game is Animal Actions. To play this game, you just say the verse together while you pretend to be different kinds of animals. For instance, you can say the verse slowly like a sloth, or really fast like a cheetah. Or you can use your whale voice to say the verse. Or you can stomp and use a big dinosaur voice while you say the verse. Just pretend to be different kinds of animals while you say the verse over and over. You can even let the kids take turns choosing which kind of animal. Maybe they like different kinds of dinosaurs or horses or bunny rabbits. And after they choose their animal, have everyone pretend to be that animal while they say the verse together. If you don't want to have to come up with motions for each animals there on the spot, you can also write down the motions for specific animals on pieces of paper ahead of time and put them face down on a table. Then all you have to do is have the kids take turns grabbing these cards to see what animal action they will do next as they say the verse again. If you'd like super convenient animal action cards that are already prepared, you can download the free God Made Everything resource bundle at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. It includes printable animal action cards and PowerPoint slides that actually teach cool facts about pistol shrimp, secretary birds, and barbastel bats while you play this amazing animal actions game to repeat and review a memory verse. Check it out at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. Our next game is the first letter challenge. This is a good game for kids who've already sort of learned the verse, but still need a bit of help. You can write out the verse for them to look at while they practice saying it out loud, but you don't want to write out the whole thing. No, you only want to write out the first letter of each word in the verse. So it looks something like this. They have to say the verse while only looking at the first letter of every word. Can you guess which Bible verse this is? It's kind of like a secret code. Kids love this game, and so do I, actually. I actually use this game a lot to help me memorize Bible verses by writing out verses like this and carrying them around in my pocket on a piece of paper so I can pull them out and review them whenever I want to. This one says, Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. This first letter challenge is a great game to play when you've got a kid in your home, your kids club, your Awana, or Sunday school who's struggling to learn a verse. Just write out the first letters of each word on a whiteboard or piece of paper and practice saying it together. And as they learn it, you can even begin to erase the letters one at a time to see if they can still say it. And speaking of erasing letters, that reminds me of our next game. This game is called Invisible Words. First, you write out the whole memory verse on a whiteboard and have the kids say it together. Then, tell them the words are going to disappear one at a time and they have to try to learn the whole verse by heart before all the words turn invisible. Then, you have someone pick the first invisible word and erase it like this. So let's go with this long word here at the top. Now we have an invisible word. And then you say the verse together. So let's try it. Can you say this even when one of the words is invisible? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Lamentations 3.22. Once you said it, have someone else choose the next invisible word, erase it, and say the verse again. So now we might erase this one. Let's try it again. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Lamentations 3.22. So now you just keep doing this over and over and over until eventually the whole entire verse is gone. The whole thing is invisible. It's all gone. 
And now you have to see if you can say the invisible verse with all the words invisible. Let's try it. Lamentations 322, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, his mercies never come to an end. The next game I want to show you is called Freeze. It's super easy. You just say the Bible verse together, but the kids have to watch you super closely because if you freeze in place and stop saying the verse, they have to freeze in place too and stay frozen until you start moving again and keep going. If you're teaching a group of kids, it helps to also do some kind of motion like clapping or twirling your hand in the air or doing motions that go along with the words of the verse while you say the verse so that the kids can see you freeze if they're sitting further back in the group because if they're further back and you just stop talking and that's all that happens, they might not be able to hear you. So you're gonna wanna do motions or maybe clap your hands so they can see when you freeze and then they know that they should freeze too. So let's practice. Let's say Genesis 1, 1 together, but when I freeze, you freeze until I unfreeze and keep going. Let's try it. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. That's all there is to it. Once the kids get the hang of the game, you can let them take turns being the freezer. But it's helpful to set a limit of maybe three freezes per verse. Otherwise, you end up saying the verse something like this. Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning, God created it, it, and it just makes it really hard to get all the way through because they keep freezing everyone. It makes it hard to understand how the verse flows. It makes it hard to get through the verse. But this verse is a simple way to say the verse and maybe even use some motions. And it's really easy to adapt for preschoolers, which reminds me, now that I've shown you five super easy Bible memory games for kids, I want to give you three tips for teaching memory verses to little kids. Preschoolers usually don't know how to read. So games that involve reading the verse together from the Bible or a whiteboard are difficult for them. You're gonna have to adapt it a little bit. If you're teaching older kids and preschoolers in one group, most of the games I just showed you will still be pretty fun, even for kids who can't read the words. And they will still benefit because they'll hear the verse repeated over and over as the older kids say it again and again. So that'll help them learn it. And they can also do special jobs like being the one to choose the mystery word or the invisible word, and then getting to help you erase that invisible word or getting to say which kind of animal they want to do next for the animal actions game. But there are some more things you can do to make it even more natural and more fun for them to memorize the verse with you. First, you can do motions. Little kids really benefit from having motions that go along with the words of the verse. They don't have to be fancy at all. You can just make them up like this. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 11911. It's really easy. So just plan some simple motions ahead of time so that the kids who can't read the words can see you do motions that help them remember the words. You can also use rhythm. Instead of just reading through the verse, sort of break it into phrases with a rhythm, sort of like this. Great is our Lord and abundant in power, Psalm 147.5. Can you hear how there's a little bit of a rhythm there and it's sort of split up? That makes it easier for children who can't follow along on a visual because they can't read it. But if you've got it kind of set as a cadence with a bit of a rhythm, it makes it easier for them to follow. So you might say, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. So you're combining motions with rhythm. Or, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Saying it in a rhythm like that makes it easier for kids to follow along. And when you put the motions together with it, it's even better. And third, you can also use music. How many of you know this song? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You've probably known that song for a really long time, ever since you were a little kid, because music helped you learn the alphabet. Music aids memory, even for big kids and adults. You can write your own songs or take familiar tunes and use them to teach the verse like this. God loved us and sent his son, sent his son, sent his son. God loved us and sent his son, First John 4, 10. 
Or instead of writing your own songs, you can just use some of the fantastic songs that are already available. There are lots of really great memory verse music videos for kids. There's a list of some of my favorite sources for scripture memory music on our blog at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Using these ideas can help you engage even very little kids in Bible memory, but I also want to give you one more bonus game. I like to play the echo game when I'm teaching verses to little kids. You just say the verse little bits at a time and have them echo it back to you like this. In the Lord Jesus. In the Lord Jesus. And you will be saved. And you will be saved. Acts 16.31 Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus. In the Lord Jesus. And you will be saved. And you will be saved. Good job. Yeah. It's really easy. If you'd like some more instructions for the Echo Game or some other Bible memory games for kids, I've made some separate videos demonstrating more games for kids and I'll share links in the video description below. I hope you can use these ideas to help kids in your home or church treasure God's Word in their hearts. If you'd like more ideas to help you teach God's Word to kids, you can find free activity guides, curriculum kits, coloring pages, lesson plans, stories, and more on our website, kidsenjoyingjesus.com. I'll also share links to some blog articles, videos, and other resources in the video description below to help you find more ideas and free resources that will help you teach God's Word to kids. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Thanks for watching.